In this section of the course, I want to talk about superglobals in PHP. Now that we've discussed most of the beginner's topics of PHP, I want to continue on with more advanced topics. And in this section of the course, I want to talk about superglobals. So, superglobals are basically variables that are available from any part of your code. You probably might know some of them, like cookies and sessions, that are used to store specific information for later use. A superglobal is mainly used to store and get information from one page to another. There are a lot of superglobals available in PHP, but I don't want to talk about all of them, but I want to discuss the most important ones. So I commented out a couple superglobals that we are going to discuss in the next couple of episodes. As you can see, almost every superglobal starts with a dollar sign and an underscore, except for the global superglobal. And in this section, I want to talk about globals, post, get, server, cookie, session, and files. So let me explain to you what they mean. So the first one is globals. And globals is a superglobal variable which is used to access global variables from anywhere in the PHP script. We've got post. And post is a superglobal that we will be using a lot. It is a global variable used to collect data from the HTML form after submitting it. So whenever you create an HTML form and you want to submit the data, the data is not visible in the query string whenever you use post. We have the get superglobal. And like I said with the post, the post method will not show up if you submit the data. And of course, there is a superglobal that do show you the form data. And that's the get method. The get method is a superglobal used to collect data from the HTML form after submitting it. We got server. And the server superglobal stores information about headers, paths, scripts, and locations. And I will show you later on what I mean with this because it's pretty useful. We've got cookies, and we're going to create our own cookie. And the cookie is a small file that the web server stores on the client's computer. Cookies are used to track information, such as a username. So whenever you want to log in on a website, the cookie will be used, and your login name will be in the input field. We've got sessions. And since cookies are used for storing user-related data, and you cannot store important data, because a hacker can easily hack your cookie information. So PHP created sessions, and the session is used to store data on the server rather than the computer. The session information gets destroyed every time a user closes the browser. And the last one that we will discuss is files. And files is a two-dimensional associative global array of items which are being uploaded via the post method. So you basically will learn how you can upload files and save the file. And in this episode, I want to start off with the global superglobal. And like I said, a global is a variable which is used to access variables from anywhere in the script. So let's create two variables. Variable x and set it equal to 100. And let's create a var variable y and set it equal to 200. Let's create a function called add. And what we used to do is to pass in parameters in the parentheses. And after that, we would have done something inside our function, and we would call our function outside of the function, and we passed arguments. So what we can do with superglobals is to go inside of our function, create a globals with a dollar sign, globals, follow it by brackets, and inside our brackets, we want to create a new variable. Inside single quotes, I want to create variable z. Now, we need to set the global variable z equal to something. Since our function name is add, I want to add variable x and y. And remember, since we're not passing it in the parameters, we need to create a new globals. And inside the brackets, we want to pass in variable x. And we want to add it with globals. And we want to pass in variable y. So what we can do now is to go outside of our function and call the function. And let's go one line below, and let's echo out variable z, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the output is 300. Since we stored the addition of variable x and y in a global called variable z, 
We can call variable z from wherever we want. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.